As firefighters, one of the emergency situations that we respond to is that of a fire sprinkler system activation. Water flowing from a fire sprinkler can cause tremendous damage to a property if not quickly controlled. In cooperation with the Mayor's Office, the Nashville Fire Department, and Station 2 A-Shift, the five of us on Tower 2 have developed a simple yet innovative tool to control the water flow from a sprinkler. We call this tool the Sprinkler Activation Controlling Device, or SAC device. Let us show you how it works. An activated sprinkler can flow up to 45 gallons per minute, which is enough to fill a bathtub. Command, we have an activated sprinkler on the first floor. We want to bring in the SAC device as soon as possible. With the quick deployment of the SAC device, we are able to divert the water flow to a more desirable location until the system can be shut down. Command, we have deployed the SAC. Copy. Proceed to getting the sprinklers turned off. Copy that. Shut down the sprinklers. So this is the sprinkler activation device plate and cup system. On this plate, there are three different options for you to deploy it. We have the New Yorker, the standard pike pole, and the rubbish or arson hook, as some people call it. We find that the rubbish hook gives you the best way to deploy it. It sits sturdy on top of the two hooks, and as you raise it up, you can easily push and hold it. And we find that if you lock in, at the waist, you can uh, hold it for a lot longer. The other style is the New Yorker. The New Yorker has a little bit wider on the hook side. It corresponds with the bigger holes. Just put it in through the hole, raise it up. You might find sometimes that the, the hose gets a little crooked if you just hold it straight down as you're deploying it. It'll keep it a little bit straighter for you. The last hole is for your standard pike pole. Slides right in and deploys also, just like that. Most sidewall sprinklers are found in hotels, motels, condos, and apartments. This type of activation can cause tens of thousands of dollars in damage to multiple floors if not quickly controlled. With the quick deployment of the SAC device, we are able to divert the water flow to a more desirable location until the system can be shut down. For the wall mount sprinkler, you will use the trash hook, you would slide the tine into the, hole, the pipe, and the other tine goes over the top of the plate. Also, making sure that the flat of the hose is facing up and down. This to keep prevents any kinking at the sprinkler head itself. As you deploy it, also put the hose over your shoulder to assist the water in getting started. As you get it up on the wall, just create a good seal and hold until someone can turn the sprinkler system off. With the New York style hook and using the back of the plate, you'll place the bottom part of the hook through the back and lock it in. Also making sure that your hose is flat up and down Place the hose over your shoulder to deploy the device to the wall mount sprinkler. For the wall mount sprinkler, as with the New York hook, you take the lower tine of the hook, put it through the back of the plate in the des designated hole. Also, making sure your hose is turned the correct way with the flat up and down. As you deploy the device, you can get the hose over your shoulder. and just add enough pressure to get a seal. So the next time you have to respond to an activated sprinkler that you'll have to manage, remember to use the SAC device so that you can minimize property damage.